Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at uh, Nvidia Shield 16GB Android TV. Stay tuned! So we take our little knife and just open the box like this and like this. So here I have opened the box. I was looking for one 16 gigabyte for a couple of weeks, but in Sweden it was impossible to find one. So I decided to go to the shop and get 500 gigabyte version. So I went to the shop and found that this one is a return sample uh, for half the price, but 16 gigabyte, which is the one I wanted from the beginning. So I'm very happy. Inside the box. It's opened before, I can see that immediately, but everything looks new. Here we have the HDMI cable, the power adapter, and the different adapters so it will fit, for example, for Europe or as we are here in Sweden. This is the controller. The controller looks new, some dust on it, but that is no big problem for me has actually the plastic left here. We take that off. So this is the plastic is now off here. Uh, as you can see here is that is the Nvidia Shield button. Here you have plus, sorry, minus and plus. Here you have Y, B, A and X and here you have the rocker switch. On this side you have the micro USB connector for charging and you have also for the headphone if you want to listen privately for example in the middle of the night. Here you have some switches. If you touch here when the power is plugged in it will start up. On the sides you have no connector at all as you can see here neither in the bottom. But if we are looking on the back side, here we have ventilation, here we have a slot for the micro SD card, here you have a US, micro USB connector, here you have two USB 3.0 connectors, here you have network connector for RG45, and here you have the HDMI connector, and finally the connector for the AC adapter and of course the AC adapter is included. I forget to mention you also have built-in Wi-Fi. Starting up Nvidia Shield Android TV 16 GB. Takes a little while as you see but that is only the first time when you start, up, start it up. When you start it normally it is in sleep mode and will start immediately. So here we are almost finished. Now it's preparing recommendations. Here are the recommendations as you can see. Uh, Netflix is installed from the beginning. And this Nvidia Shield is of course made for playing games, both online or with a partner but if you have a partner you need a second controller. I have downloaded a free game here just to try it out but I'm not a gamer so I will not show you how it works. Here you see some apps. Uh, YouTube is from the beginning. MX Player is also default. IP Can Viewer is default. You can check IP Can Viewer that is an Android based in this case IP cam viewer. You can also download it if you have an Apple tablet for example. We will start it now. It connects to some cameras I have and the cameras are not locally. So we see this app works very very good. This app takes every camera as you can imagine. I have tested many many brands and all the cameras works with this app. The guy who made this app IP Cam Viewer update at least one time a month, sometimes more. And as I told you, all the cameras you can imagine works with this 
app. What do we have more? Well, you see I have installed also Kodi, ES File Exploder and Sideload Launcher. In the Google Play Store, we now will search for ES File Explorer, press the touch button, ES File Explorer. And you saw it found the file explorer immediately. We will try with side load launcher. And the left app is the side load launcher you also need to install. And finally we'll try with Kodi. Kodi. Yeah, you can see Kodi here is also already, already installed. So we go back to the main menu. If you have a problem, for example, with some app won't start properly, you can go to settings. I just wanted to show you that. Go to apps, click there, and go to the apps which you have a problem with. For example, Kodi, four stop and click OK. Now we go back to the main menu. We will look at the file explorer. This is handy if you want to download something for example on a USB flash drive or a micro SD card and install the APK file from there. We have the side load launcher here you will find applications which you have downloaded, for example, from your Dropbox account or your OneDrive account. And from here you can install it to the NVIDIA Shield and it will show up here. Here I have ExpressVPN, that is a VPN service. It's not the cheapest one, but it is extremely fast. And it's very secure. It is based in British Virgin Islands and it doesn't keep any logs at all. Beware of if you use a free VPN, they are never free. There are always something fishy about these free VPNs. For example, Ola. Ola uses your computer or Android tablet for other people so they can go through you. And other VPN services which are free. Do you know who is behind them? Maybe it's an authority who wants to spy on you or you will get advertised. So that's why I prefer to have ExpressVPN which works in all countries and it's not as I told you cheap, cost about $90 a year but it is fast and it's very secure. You also see other applications I have downloaded here you have MobDraw, this I downloaded from my Mac or you can download to your PC the APK file and sideloaded it through OneDrive if I start this app, you can see here, you can watch channels, but be aware of this app. When you're using it in many countries, it's illegal to use this kind of streaming. It works, it works very fast, as you can see here, and that is due to the NVIDIA Shield is ex extremely quick. I use also Ethernet cable, I don't use the built-in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I prefer to have Ethernet. You have news channels. Oh, let me go back again. Yeah, so, so I'm using the controller. You have uh, CNN, for example, here. Loads up, loads up directly. Uh, you can go back here. You have TV shows. Better Call Saul. I recommend this. I have it on Netflix. Uh, we have uh, down here, we have music. Go back again. Here we have sports. And 
here we have movie channels we can try one just to see if it works animation movies yeah it works very good so I don't want to continue with this because it can be copyrighted go back to for example you have YouTube that is default in the Nvidia player you have Swedish television which is okay because I'm paying every year to watch Swedish television that is legal no problem I have um, Netflix let me see where we did here we have Netflix this I have cost around ten dollars a month but it is worth it and if you check here it's very very fast to load up we can try Ford's War for example and it starts immediately it's very fast and finally we have Kodi Kodi is an app which you can use for watching movies TV shows sports live TV and so on since I downloaded this uh, through the Google Play Store I got the newest version 17 also called Krypton so here we have add-ons tech thing you find on YouTube I like this channel it's free and it's about uh, technical things electronics uh, computers speakers headless phones sorry <laughs> wireless headphones